I first met it as a memory that would arise suddenly without warning from a depth of not years, but centuries. The memory was from childhood, when my brother brought it the lid of a biscuit tin, garnished with twigs and flowers to make a toy garden. It was the first beauty I had ever known, a sensation of desire. But before I knew what I desired, the desire was gone, withdrawn, the world turned common again. Since then, my constant endeavor was to get it again, in reading every book, going on every walk, listening to every piece of music. Occasionally, the sky would turn. Far more often, I frightened it away by my greed to have it. I call this desire joy, which must be distinguished very sharply from happiness or pleasure, except that anyone who has ever experienced joy will want it again. Apart from that, it might be called a particular kind of grief. But then it's the kind we want. It is the scent of a flower we have not found, the echo of a tune we've not heard, news from a country we have not yet visited. Oh, I doubt that anyone who has ever tasted joy would exchange it for all the pleasures in the world. But joy is never in our power, and pleasure is.